Hello friends, welcome. Now, as I said here, I want to display the link. If you go to the inertia, links, and here we have an example. We need to import the link from inertia.js slash inertia view 3 or if we are in the view 2, just inertia dash view. But we are in the view 3, so we need to say here. And we say link like an anchor tag with shref. And when we want to go. Okay. Also, we can use them as a method. So, for example, for, for the logout, we specify the method here post as a button and type button. Okay. Now let's go to our project and I want to display this in the right. So let's go inside the resources, JS, pages, skills, index page. Here in this, uh, when we say table, I want to add a div. So let's just add a div here. And I'm going to add a class to this div to be flex. And I want the button to be in the right so i want to say justify and and i'm going to add margin 2 and padding 2 and here we can add the link to add the link we need to import the link as i said here so let's here we have imported the head let's import also the link and in here, I'm going to add that link. Now, for the shref, I'm going to bind, or we can add without bounding. So I'm going to say right now, bind and use roads, as I said, because the inertia.js have the Ziggy package, and we can specify where we the route when we go, where we want to go. So inside in this case, we want to go in the skills dot create page. Okay, and then let's add also the class, some classes. So I'm going to say px uh, for py two to be. Also, I'm going to say bg indigo. And BG Indigo 500. On hover, we need to change the background to be BG Indigo 700. And I'm going to say text to be white. And let's give it also the rounded to BMD. And let's say, for, for example, a new skill let's save it and let's go to our project and refresh and why we don't have that so we have this skill we have imported the link we added the link here let's see if we yeah Inspect the elements. Yeah, everything is okay. Just we don't see the... Ah, yeah, here is, is the new link, new skill. So why we don't have that? Let's close and run npm run dev again and yeah now is we need to restart that we have the new skill and as you can see the route is skills slash create if that's it's okay for you or if you don't want like this the use routes we can say here slash skills slash create for example, 
like this and let's save it and it's the same so skills slash create okay now if i click nothing happen right now because in the controller so let's go inside the app http controllers skill controller on the create method we don't do anything so let's say return For example, I'm going to say create here just to see that it's working and new skill. Yeah, we have the string create. But we don't want the skill, uh, the link, uh, string, sorry, we need the page. And as we have learned, we need to run to return the inertia and render the component. Inside the skills, I'm going to create new component. I'm going to name it create.view and let's go to the index. I'm going to select all, copy here and paste it in this create. I'm going to change to say here skill or new skill. So let's say new skill here and also new skill on the header. Now we don't need the link and here is going to be the form. So let's save this. Now in the skill controller, we need to return that the create component. Let's say return inertia render and inside the skills, we created the create component. If I save now and let's go here and refresh, if I click the new skill, we navigate the skills slash create. We have a new skill here and new skill on the title and we have the form. Very good. Let's go back and let's do the same thing for the project. So let's close this. Let's go to the skill index and I'm going to copy this. In here, this div, and do the same on the project index, or we can do uh, something else. So, if you go here inside the JS, we have the components, and this is a component coming with a breeze. And here we have a button, we have a nav link. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one more for this. Uh, new skill or if you don't want because we have only two pages let's let's stick with this so let's copy this uh, div and let's go to the index inside here let's paste that because we don't have uh, but if we have more than two pages when we need the link it's better to create a component and just import that. But for now, I'm going to just copy and paste that one, import the link here. And instead of skills create, we need to say projects slash create new project. Also in here, we need to say new oh sorry leave it as it is and now let's go to the project yeah we have this but nothing happened because we need to create the set the projects we need to create a new component create dot view now you can name it what you want but i'm going to name it create Inside the skills create, I'm going to select all and copy. And here in the create, we don't need the link, so I'm going to remove that. Okay, save. And let's select all copy and paste on the projects create component. Change this to be from skill 
V project and we are okay. New project, new project here. We have imported everything. Let's close. Now the last thing is to go inside the controller and when we have the create method, let's return the inertia render the projects create component. Let's save it, refresh and new. We are in the project slash create, new project, new project and the form. Okay, that's it about this video. I hope you understand and see you in the next one.